guys, it's Lee, and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul for you. All of these items came from York, Pennsylvania. I went to the Manchester store, the store on Route 30 by Aldi, and the Queen Street store. I think that's it. Nope, I also went to the one on Haynes Road. Anyway, those are the stores I went to. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine spinning in the background, but we need clean laundry. All right, so after I show you everything I picked up, I will then have pictures of items I saw, didn't necessarily need or want for myself, but thought you might like to see, so make sure you hang around for those. Also, I'd appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. All right, so let's get into it. I did not get a lot of food items, but I'm gonna start with those. We are completely out of the 90 second pouch rice. So I got two of the Savvy Fair in brown rice. I'm looking, it says Baxter's North America. I don't see where it was actually made, but if you've gotten this before, just let me know. It says distributed by, so it doesn't say made by or in. I don't know. I got two of the brown rice and two of the white rice. I just picked up one of these Tampico Zero Sugar Citrus Punches. You get 48 fluid ounces. Um, I was going to say best by date on these is October. Okay, this one's October 2024, 20, and the brown rice is January 2025. I grabbed a couple of the Hint Watermelons for myself because I like them. Nobody else really likes them, but I do. And then lastly, for food items, I picked up two more of the Bush's Best Zero Sugar Added Baked Beans. Slow simmered and seasoned to perfection. And this is a one pound, 11 and a half ounce can. So I got those just to put on the shelf. Oh, let's see what the Best Buy is June 2024, but they will last way longer than that. That's just the Best Buy date. Next, I picked up two more of these fresh and clean laundry detergent pods. I just sometimes can find them, sometimes can't. So when I can, I like to keep a stock up, and by stock up, I mean like four unopened bags, sometimes three. Anyway, this makes four unopened bags for me. I picked up this two-pack of Assured Six Blade Women's Superior Disposable Razors. I got two of these because I need to replace the one that's in my travel bag. Um, yeah, I may have some travel scheduled, but I'll let you know more about that when the time comes. Next, I picked up two packs of socks, but these are a repurchase. I picked these up for a friend. I was going to send, these are the SpongeBob rainbow socks. I was going to send my friend the ones that I bought for myself, but when I walked to one of the stores, they had them, so I went ahead and picked up two to send to her. I don't know how many she wanted. Hopefully, two is enough. Next, I found the Twizzlers 10 color pen, and I bought this for my daughter. She didn't ask for it. She doesn't know it exists, but I bought it for her anyway. Uh, she likes Twizzlers. <laughs> so uh, if they had had a Good and Plenty one, I would have bought that because she really likes Good and Plenty. But they had Twizzlers, so I bought her Twizzlers pen. Then I found this Cher 60s Couture Body Mist. Now, it says it features bergen bergamot rose damas. I don't know what that is. Amber and patchouli. I wish I had read that before I picked it up. Um, I gave it a quick sniff in the store and it kind of was okay. And I thought it would be okay. But it kind of spilled in the bag and now it's strong and it kind of makes me nauseous. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm not going to use it. I, I really, I'll put it over here. I really don't like patchouli. And that's on me for not really paying attention. Ugh, it's, ev it's everywhere now. Ugh. Next, I found these little quilted cosmetic bags. And they're just plain. But they're a little puffy. The zipper is nice. 
I got a pink one for me and this green one for my daughter. All I can smell is that patchouli now. Ugh. Not a fan. I forgot I bought these Everyday Flushable Wipes 36 count with vitamin E and aloe, alcohol free for sensitive skin. And I picked these up also to go in my travel bag. So let me put these over here. Yeah, they're not that important. <laughs> Next, I found these water bottles. Uh, they had a few different designs. I did take pictures. Let me back up the camera a little. But I picked up two of these. One for my daughter, one for someone else. These are Hogwarts water bottles. They're so cute. They open like this. And it says Gryffindor, Slytherin, Slytherin Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Have you ever done that test online? Apparently I'm a Hufflepuff. My daughter claims she's a Slytherin. She doesn't watch this. She is totally a Gryffindor, but we'll let her pretend she's Slytherin. Anyway, <laughs> she hates when I say that. Anyway, I did get two of these. I can't even remember what the other ones were. I think Avengers maybe was one. There's a picture, there'll be a picture, so. This next thing I bought is a really good find. It is not for me. I picked this up for a friend. Um, but it is the new Cantu Shea Butter Hypoallergenic Shampoo. No sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. It's sensitive, fragrance-free formula, dermatolog dermatologist reviewed, made with pure shea butter. Dental cleanser for sensitive scalps. Um, I feel like this might be too heavy for my hair. My hair is pretty um, fine and very straight. So I did get two of those. And then I also found the matching conditioner. Um, same thing, that's, they're both eight ounces. And they're both the Cantu Shea Butter Sensitive Hypoallergenic. And yeah, I picked these up for someone else, but I thought they were such a great deal for $1.25. I don't actually know how much this costs in the stores, but I'm pretty sure it's more than $1.25. So I got two each of those. Next, I bought a notebook, and we all know how much I need notebooks. But this one was so cute, which is what gets me, well, not in trouble. It's a self-imposed notebook ban. <laughs> this was so cute. And there was only one, and it was sitting all by itself. Here comes a kitty cat. It was sitting all by itself, all, and I just felt sorry for it, so I had to bring it home, right? Look at this notebook. It is so cute. It's hardback. And it has kitties all over it. It's a jot notebook and it has 55 pages. It's six by eight. And it's lined on the inside. How could I leave that in the store all by itself? I couldn't. So I, I rescued it. That's what I'm going to say. I rescued that. And everything else I bought is craft related. Crazy. Two videos like that. I know. Anyway, let's get into it. First, I picked up these stickers. You get four butterfly stickers, and they are pop-up stickers. And just look how pretty they are. My favorite one's on the bottom. That's beautiful, too. Look at that one. That is gorgeous. I mean, I love them all. And I thought this one was going to be my favorite, but no. It's that one. That's gorgeous. These are so pretty. Then I picked up this sticker set. I want to see if it'll fit something. If not, it's okay. We'll, I'll find something else to do with it. But I thought that was really pretty. Next, I found some more Resin Studio products. I only picked up the Coaster Mold. And I got two of these. In the stores I went to, I didn't see any more of the resin. So I'm glad I picked up a few in the first store I went to. So I did get these Coaster Resin Molds. I picked up the Light Switch Plate cover thing <laughs> in the last haul. And then the store on Queen Street had so many new little craft kits. I did not buy all of them. I tried to take pictures. I bought the ones I thought my daughter might be the most interested in um, because she's a crafty girl. I used to be a little better with crafts, but the older I get, the less patience I have for crafting. It, that seems backwards, but it's true. So let me show you. First, I found these little embroidery, I don't know why I can't say that, embroidery hoop kits 
It, it says it includes a plastic hoop, one fabric panel, a sewing needle, and four thread colors. And I thought this little hedgehog was just too adorable. I also picked up the mushroom. I believe there were at least four, some of them had five, but at least four patterns in each of these kits I'm about to show you. I, like I said, did not pick up all of them. Then I found these little cross stitch kits and they contain printed fabric, four thread colors, one loop needle, one threader, and a four inch plastic hoop. This one was so cute. I got the donut, because that's really cute. Something like this I could do, because it doesn't take much time. This I thought was so pretty. I wish it were in pink, but it's okay. I picked up a butterfly, and then I got this eye, because I thought it looked interesting. I could definitely do this one. Then I found these little DIY needle felting kits. I've never done felting and I don't think she has either, but I thought these might be fun to try. They definitely had at least four of these. I got the apple. Here it comes with a foam pad, felting needles, one piece nine shaped needle, I don't know, and a, and a one piece key ring and eight grams of wool. So, so we've got the apple. And I picked up the strawberry. There was also an avocado and a peach, but it looked like a butt and I didn't care for it. And then the last ones I picked up are these little DIY crochet kits. I got the star and it comes with a knitting marker, a crochet hook, one needle, one keychain, instructions, and the stuffing. There's this little star. I got this cute little pink whale or shark. I guess it's a whale. It looks more like a whale. It's a little pink whale. And I picked up the orange. I thought these were so cute. And she could whip one of those out in no time flat because she's very good at crocheting. All right, so that's everything I got this time around at four Dollar Trees here in York, Pennsylvania. Now I have those pictures of items I saw didn't want or need but thought you might like to see so check those out and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.